so i've got the v67 update finally uh this time i've got it early obviously i went into the experimental features and enabled the apple vision like um new window layouts so now we've got three pinned layouts that we can actually uh do just like we used to do before this update and we can also put floating windows wherever we want in our physical space so i've got meta horizon feed here i've got a huge youtube screen over there which i can obviously go even huge even more huge and let's make it flat just like on the apple vision pro and i can actually position it in front of me, in front of me to take the entire uh wall in my living room and also <laughs> the ceiling actually tim cook said that he watched the third season of ted lasso just like that so you know i can just put up my recliner and enjoy watching youtube netflix or whatever i want uh just like that and i can go inside vr now i'm in vr <clears throat> and i can watch whatever i'm watching in you know some nice place i guess and I can obviously go ahead and uh, dim the background or see it uh, just the way I prefer. And I can go back to my reality. Too bad Meta won't allow me, us, the users, to actually dim the background in, um, you know, uh, for real, in my real background. But I don't care right now. I guess that it's it's going to... Uh, roll out as, the, as this feature becomes mainstream and not experimental feature so that's one thing that i really like because now we can do things just like on the apple vision pro right so that's amazing and another thing that i noticed that they've got rid of the they've got uh expand view and the shrink view i think it's it was called it was here somewhere and they got rid of this one which is a smart ux decision now speaking about ux i expect meta to improve this uh, experience more by adding shadows you know so people will have some sort of estimation where these menus are in physical space and adding shadow for example here beneath this um, window setup or panel setup would be useful to me to understand where exactly these window layouts are in my physical space now they've started to do some of this stuff in the right way uh, for example if you go to spatial video for example i'm gonna put these fishes you can see that they've added shadows beneath the panel so as you can see this is the you, you won't see this effect just uh, as i do because that's a spatial video you know just like on the apple vision pro but you can see i don't know if you can notice this but they've added a shadow beneath this screen so uh, i've got digital shadow on my real floor so right there meta amazing work same goes here and they are also dimming my physical space which is what i want whenever i uh, make video full screen and you know uh, want to dim my environment and they won't let me right now it's, it only works in the vr environment so the same i want the same experience for ar experiences the other thing that meta will have to improve after the previous update of their AR pass through improvement uh, in V66, which as you can see, it's amazing. So let me just get rid of the menus. As you can see, there is no warping around my hands. So they just improved it and I covered it in my previous video, which is amazing. They've just took inspiration from Apple with their Apple Vision Pro, uh, which I tried in back in February when it was just released. And I kind of feel like Meta is almost on the same level with Apple in terms of their AR uh, or mixed reality mode so I don't see any difference right now there is still a slight warping happening in my peripheral view but it's nothing biggie I guess that most users won't even notice that yeah. all right so they will have to improve in addition to this uh, warping they will have to improve the hand tracking so uh, hand occlusion must be better than this one because I see that because of the warping effect and uh, mixed reality hand tracking improvements that they've done in the previous version as you can see the vr glove or ar glove that uh, my hand is actually getting whenever i'm uh, placing my hands 
on top of menus so I will be able to actually see my hands or where they are because the digital uh, AR hologram is actually hiding my real hands so Meta gives you the, the, the these weird gloves in order to know where your hands are whenever menus are hiding them so I guess that now since this kind of layout glove layout gives you uh, accurate estimation where your hands are I guess that they can actually use this to mask out your real hands uh, just to get this Apple Vision Pro like effect of hand occlusion Apple is obviously doing this not only for the hands um, but also for, for the entire arm even when you go inside VR so for example now I'm in VR and in my on meta headsets you get this cartoonish weird avatar that doesn't even have legs so that's next for meta they've got to improve this one and give us full mixed reality experience when you see your hands on top of holograms and 3d objects in your space digital content in your space and not these weird gloves because we are past uh, 2015 when everybody used to do these vr gloves even in vr and now even uh the best game for uh, the best vr game just like uh, ghost of tabor gives you full body inverse kinematics and you don't see gloves even in vr so time to get rid of this and let give us real hands in, in our uh, in our uh, vr and ar experiences because apple actually gives you your hands even in vr apple vision pro does it perfect because it mix the, the definition of mixed reality is you know mixing between new realities so you get your real hands in vr on apple vision pro and you get uh your real hands also in uh digital content in AR on top of your real world so that's the bo the best of the of both worlds another thing that meta will have to improve except this hand occlusion and obviously uh, the shadows I talked about is the user interface because right now the user interface is kind of old they made some few changes slight changes to the uh, user interface in this update uh, most of people most people won't even notice it they've got now this weird layout I mean take a look UX guys, you tell me what you think about this because I'm kind of confused. You can move windows by the top panel, just like on Windows and Mac OS and stuff like this, all right? So I'm moving the window just by holding the where it says browser, all right? And you can do the same with this um, weird outline that they made, which is nice sometimes because it, it behaves differently on different kind of windows. For example, this window you can resize, so you don't you don't have these uh, side or corner panels, unlike this one because this is, a, this is a browser window, so I can actually resize it. All right, so I get this kind of uh, Apple Vision like, which basically basically Meta did it before Apple, but you get this kind of weird experience. Now, Apple does window movement and the window uh, and closing window by using this kind of dock which also meta implemented way before apple did and for some reason meta removed this from uh the other windows and they keep it only for the dock i guess that's that's they are doing so just that's a design decision they took just because they have dock apple doesn't have a dock so basically on apple you do this and then whenever you open something for example let's open people application on the Apple Vision Pro, every, everything that you open gets this kind of, uh, uh, I don't know how to call it, but it's its its basically a basic shape that you can actually move each window. And Apple also gives you a dot next to it on the left side, which is a close button for each window. Uh, they don't give you minimize because, uh, I don't know, Apple Vision Pro can support as much as Windows you, you like, so they don't give you minimize uh, button. So... Meta will have to find and nail down the proper uh, user interface for how to move these windows because right now I can move this by this weird outline and then I can also do the same with catching the uh, top bar of each window. Same goes for docking my windows inside this kind of panels. Now this window is docked and not moving freely around the, the room just like uh, this one, all right? So I can bring them here and I can... Uh, Oops, that's a bit trickier now because once again the user interface is kind of um, not clear. So I can bring this horizon feed here, hopefully, 
and then Horizon Fit catch, uh, catches this uh, real estate and the other window, the files actually went in the background. So right now, uh, my browser, uh, recording session, camera and Horizon Fit are moving with, with uh, this docked three windows panel. But the files not. So if I switch between them, as you can see, files now moves with my uh, three screen panel or whatever it is. And Horizon Fit is just sticks there. I can stick it to the ceiling, to the to the wall, uh, whatever. So this is the third thing that Meta will have to find a way to do it better because right now it's confusing. And I guess me as a UX UI designer and the product manager can understand the rationale behind it, but they will have, have to find ways. Uh, personally, I would go with this kind of uh, handle a bit beneath each one of them. And I will get rid of this... Uh, outline completely or I will get rid of the top panel with these buttons and move this uh, maximize button and close button next to this uh, handle so it's it's gonna be pretty much just like on the Apple Vision Pro but Meta will have to uh, you know they don't have to uh, be worried about oh Meta just uh, copied Apple no because you guys did it Meta did it before Apple so they just need to iterate on this one and take it to the next level and yes, obviously, I would get this. Uh, I would get rid of this uh, X and the minimize buttons, uh, and even even the maximize button, and place them somewhere here, or maybe find another way to do that. Because right now, this top panel and this outline feels really weird. So that's that's a good direction for Meta. I guess that uh, the competition in the VR AR world is also better for is also amazing for the UX uh, uh, problem solving solutions. Uh, because UX teams will have to now work hard in order to find solutions for this kind of complex issues that I've just touched maybe 1% of them because obviously if you're a UX guy or gal, you should be excited about these kind of things. I am because <laughs> I've been doing VR AR for a few years now, uh, maybe 10 years. Uh, so that makes me you know, excited. And the challenges are immense. Uh, I hope that more VR, more UX UI designers will join this party because, as you can see, there are so many challenges to solve and nobody, even Apple, nobody knows exactly what's the right direction to go. So we need more people with uh, outside of the box think thinking and uh, hopefully we'll find better solutions in order to build the next uh, special computing experiences, apps and games and stuff like this. So I'm going to end this video here. And I hope I gave you guys uh, a little bit of uh, food of thought. So let me know what you guys think. Bye bye.